Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, in today's class, we're going to talk about creating assemblies. An assembly is drawing a picture of a shape that we want to push down our alignment following the grades of our profile to form a corridor. So the assembly is the shape, the shape of the road or the shape of a ditch or the shape of whatever it is you're making. I noticed a bunch of people used fences and other things as their shape. Uh, you can do a fence as a, as a sh shape of an assembly. Uh, but let me show you first what is quite normal. Uh, I'll show a ditch and I'll show a road. Okay, first off, I'm gonna go to my profile for my ditch. And the significant thing about my ditch profile is that it goes downhill. And another significant thing about it is that I started and ended the profile two feet below grade. And I tried to keep it below grade most of the way. Now, the point of that is that I'm going to draw a ditch that's two feet deep. So the design point is going to be the bottom center of the ditch. And... It's going to be two feet deep, so I should have my design grade down two feet from the ground. Um, okay. A good way to draw your ditch to be able to find it again, your assembly, is to zoom in on the grid you made for your view, for your profile view. On the Home tab, we should have an Assembly Create Assembly. Create assembly is going to ask you the name of it, and it defaults to assembly one, which I don't like. I'm going to say assembly um, ditch two, as in two feet deep. Um, I don't need to use a description because I think I was descriptive enough with the name, and the rest of the defaults are fine. I'm going to do an OK. I'm going to pick a spot right in the middle of my grid. And it says, okay, here is the base point for your assembly. We have a little plus with a, a vertical line showing the center line of the assembly. Okay, now, the components that I can attach to assembly are in a library. We've already seen that control one gives us the, the properties window. Control two gives us design center where I can steal things like blocks or whatever out of other drawings or layers or textiles or whatever. That's control two. Control three gives me the subassembly components. And so I have different attempt, uh, tabs for doing different things. Some basic lane information. Um, Shoulders, which are considered edge of the road, medians, curves. Daylighting means how do you want to end the cross section and tie it back to the existing ground. We have a generic one, a conditional one. Conditional, um, what this will let you do is change what it does depending on how deep the cut is or the type of material you're cutting into. Um, Pipes, retaining walls, and one of my favorites, a railroad track. But here are bridge decks that I can use as an assembly. So uh, I noticed someone in their practicing did a loop-de-loop -loop greater than 180 curve. Um, if you did that, you'd really need to put a bridge in it. But anyway, that's assemblies. The only one we're going to play with, really, um, for class and for the exam will be the generic ones. I use... Um, do, 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 link Width and Slope. That's the primary tool I use, which lets me grade at an angle and a distance. And I will also use... Link slope to surface. With these two links, I can do 99% of my grading work for assemblies. Uh, on the third 
uh, profile you have, you can do any of the tools you wish. Okay, so starting at my center line of my cross section, I want a V ditch. I want three to one slope sides, and I want it two feet deep. So if I think about that, um, two feet deep on a three to one would be six feet wide. So I will do a link width and slope. And it comes up saying, which side is this? This is the right side. And I'm going to put it six feet wide. And uh, the slope is going to be on a three to one tab. I can now pick on the connector object on the right. And it gave me a three to one slope for six feet wide, which will be a two foot depth. Okay, now I also want to add another piece to this where the top of the ditch, I want to maintain a horizontal slope. So I can use a slope of zero for a width of, I don't know, foot and a half, 1.5 tab. And now I want to pick on the circle at the end of my link, and it'll add on to that a foot and a half horizontal. And now, enter to get out of that. I don't know if I had to enter to get out of it or not, because I'm going to go back to it again. And this time I'm going to choose left side, and I want width of six feet on a slope of three colon one tab and I pick my target object again and I got the left side and I want another one and a half foot at a zero slope pick the circle on the end and I got that so that is my ditch now enter to get out of that I now need to finish it off with a link slope to surface, which that means is I'm going to give it a slope and it's going to follow that slope until it hits existing ground. Link slope to surface. It wants to know what slope do you want. I'm going to go with, well, really I'd probably go with a 4 to 1, uh, but I'm going to go with a 3 to 1 because we're going to be in a pretty steep area and we're going to need this. So three to one, I'm saying three and one, either in a cut or a fill position. And I'm gonna click on my link on the right. And I'm gonna change this. Oh, it automatically did it to the right. I'm gonna click on my link to the left and it automatically did it to the left. Okay. So this is the completed assembly. It's got a V-notch ditch a flat spot and then it's going to continue until up or down actually until it hits existing ground okay so that is an assembly of a ditch if I wanted a flat bottom on the ditch it would have been easy to do I could have put a flat section for half of the bottom width on each side before I did the vertical and that would give me a uh, uh, trapezoidal ditch instead of a V ditch. Okay, now I'm going to switch to roads. Um, now, do I want to do a real road or do I want to just do a driveway? Well, that depends on where you put your alignment or what you're designing. A real road is typically two 12 foot pavement lanes. Um, that might be a little on the large side for some of the uh, drawings that I've seen. Uh, if we don't need that, we could make it smaller, but I'm going to zoom in on the road in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go to assembly, create assembly, and I'm going to name this one assembly road uh, narrow. And I'm saying narrow because this is not going to be a two-lane road. It's going to be more of a driveway. Okay, okay with that, pick where I'm going to put it, 
Control 3, get my menu back. Link, slope, and width, or link, width, and slope. Now, I'm going to put a six foot pavement lane going at a minus 2%. I'm going to do six foot at a minus two percent on the left and switch it to the right. And it appeared when I did it before that once you have one segment in, it gets it and will continue on with that slope. Okay. Um, now I'm going to put a little bit of, of, uh, of, dirt forming a ditch, let's say I only do a one foot deep ditch. I can do that with another link, link width and slope, and I can say I want a minus three to one, and I want it three feet wide. Click, click. Now, by making it three feet wide at a three to one, that's only a one foot deep ditch. Okay. Now, enter to get out of that. Go back to a link slope to surface. I want a three to one. And I'm going to pick the right hand circle and the left hand circle. Now, what this ditch is going, or what this road is going to do, is if my grade is lower than my existing ground, it's going to grade down and form a ditch and then connect up. If my grade design grade is above my existing grade, it's going to drape the road and then it's going to, at that point, go down. So this last wing is a link slope to grade or link width, or yeah, wait a minute link slope to surface and it's going to go either up or down at a three to one depending on what I'm doing with the site. Okay, that's assemblies. That's um, I'll tell you what size to make your road and your ditch in the assignment email, but that's assemblies. Good luck. Bye.